Um, a little bit about myself. My name is Dania. I officially work as international account manager here at the Hamza um, and as a study advisor. And um, yeah, so I, I'm, I have an international background. I have witnessed many international students coming to the Netherlands. So it's, um, it's really one of the biggest joy in my work to be able to help you to choose the right studies and um, find your place where you can flourish. Um, I'm very uh, happy and lucky to have Joanna with us uh, today, who, um, who is one of our alumni. So Joanna, can you just briefly introduce yourself so that you know, we know that you're part of this presentation? Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Joanne, and I'm originally from Taiwan, and I currently live in Netherlands, and I study at uh, Hanze for Master's in International Business Management. Thank okay. you. All right. So um, in the coming, I hope, 20 minutes, um, I hope we still have that uh, time. Uh, let me just try to change my slide. Um, we will talk about Groningen, we'll talk about um, Hansa, of course, um, our university. I will go a little bit into uh, the educational approach and our facility, and then finally, Joanna will share her um, student story. So that hopefully gives you a bit more um, yeah, indication of what to expect when you're studying in the Netherlands. So a little bit first about Groningen. Um, Groningen is actually one of the youngest uh, city in the Netherlands. Um, I think our average age is about 36 um, because we have so many students here. So you can see the total population is about you know, uh, 300,000 and one in fourth um, are actually uh, students here. And then we have 13,000 um, of those students who are international students. So it's, um, it's, it's a quiet city, of course. It's not quite like Amsterdam, all, all the other urbanized um, um, European big cities. Uh, but we have a very vibrant little, very cozy student city. Um, Yes. Okay. So, um, yeah. So a little bit more about Groningen. So we are, uh, we have been voted uh, many times as one of the uh, best student city in Groningen, uh, in, the, in the Netherlands. Um, it's highly ranked in safety and we have very modernized sport facilities and the quality of our air and water is just has been uh, great. Um, we have, uh, yeah, uh, many uh, hot spots. So the cafes, bars, shops, restaurants. What I personally really um, appreciate about Groningen is that everything is very centralized. So to get to one spot, you don't have to travel a lot. And then once you get out of the city center, you know, that's where everybody kind of lives. So that's my own appreciation about Groningen. But Joanna might tell you a little bit uh, about that later. Um, because we have so many students, it's a very um, busy city. Uh, we have lots of, um, yeah, it's a very uh, colorful uh, art and cultural scene. So we have museum theater. So if you really enjoy, you know, the historical part of, um, yeah, it's historic histories and cultures, there's tons to explore here. Um, just to give you a little bit of um, idea how our city looks like, I've you know, taken a bit of different side of the city. So as you can see, it's just, there's nature, there's in the city center. Um, I think coziness is really the best word to describe the city. Um, as a student, you know, uh, coming abroad, I think it's very overwhelming sometimes as well to be constantly in the, you know, in the business, the busyness of it all. Um, so it's nice to be you know, in the city center, but then when you want quietness, you can just kind of get in touch with the nature, take a walk um, and those kind of things. So um, that I have covered. Now I will move on to our university, um, Hansa. Of course, that's, you know, we're also in Groningen because when you choose uh, Hansa University of Applied Sciences, you also choose Groningen. So um, yeah, so you can see here, um, we're the oldest university in the Netherlands and, and the biggest in the North. Um, we, uh, yeah, so uh, you can see in the 
<laughs> this corner that uh, we were founded in 1798. So that means we just celebrated our uh, 225 uh, years birthday. Uh, we offer different bachelor's and master's program in all different domains. Um, and we have our own research centers and centers of expertise. Um, so you can see the number on the screen just to give you, a, you know, a little bit of indication how big our university is. So, um, and as University of Applied Science, it has strong focus on practical uh, application of knowledge. So we really aim to help students to become future ready professionals who can basically hit the ground running so that you can, you know, uh, really graduate um, um, and, and, and start writing businesses and organizations and bring valuable um, uh, expertise and competencies in there. Uh, we want you to basically not only study, but really to build your CV at the same time. So therefore, most of our bachelor programs um, have integrated um, 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 internships in their third year, and our master programs also focus really on practical projects um, that applies to real client during your study. Um, and then, you know, the third semester, so let's say the last half of the year when you graduate, uh, there's also opportunity to do an internship at a master level. So um, altogether, um, Hamza has about 31,000 uh, students and roughly 10% um, percent of them are international from about 115 countries. Um, so a bit more slides to give you an uh, idea of how our campus look like. So this is basically our main campus, the Zernica um, campus, which is in the north of the city, maximum 20 minutes biking from the city center. And this one hosts most of our study domains, so such as business studies, communication, health, and most of the engineering program. Um, as you can see, it's, it's very green and modern, um, has lots of up-to-date facilities, uh, lecture halls and seminar rooms, also swimming pools, tennis. So if you're into sport, it's definitely the place to be. Um, we have, um, yeah, so cafe, lots of places to eat. So basically you can stay here, um, spend all day here if you want to. Um, not all of our uh, facilities are uh, on Seneca campus. So we have um, in the city center. Um, so we cover, for example, here, you have the Minerva Art Academy uh, in this traditional uh, building, which is located in the, in the city center, right on the canal um, that runs through the city. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's um, yeah, I've actually been in there recently and you can really tell the lots of creative flow through it. Um, so yeah, so that gives you a little bit of how our kind of university looks like. Uh, now I'll go in, a little bit into the international bachelor and master programs that we offer. So on this slide, I will not uh, name all of them, obviously. Um, but uh, so just to give you a little bit of ideas. So um, in our domain, we have the popular uh, programs in design and fine art, and that continues all the way into the master's. We have a nice portfolio in international business covering all the um, important subjects uh, in business. And as you can see, we have a couple of masters that are related to energy or energy transition, which is really one of our leading uh, research topics here at Hanze and Kaumingen, to be honest. Um, then in the engineering domain, um, there's some chemical engineering and, and um, electrical and, and electronics engineering. Um, yeah, so the, 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 the second program is a very interesting one because it further goes, um, has three different majors in sensor technology, electronics and megatronics. So you can choose one of those and then, um, and then stick with that for the rest of your study. Um, yeah, and in the master's program, we have, again, a strong focus in energy and energy transition. Um, communication is also a popular domain, so it's a good domain to check out if you're like to combine, for example, business and lots of creativity. And in the last health domain, we have physiotherapy, which is a very popular program among our international study choosers and sports studies. So most of our uh, bachelor programs are four years. Uh, some are three, so there's different requirements. You need to check them out. Um, and our master programs range from one to two years. And uh, so most of the art programs, for example, are two years, while other domains are ranging from one to one, 1 1.5 years. Um, yeah, and if, you, if you're interested, by the way, to check out what subjects are exactly taught in these programs, you can have a look at our Hamza um, catalog, which is in the... Um, yeah, on the slide. 
So um, next, uh, what can you actually really expect from studying at Hansa? Um, uh, I think this is a nice slide to tell you, yeah, what, what, yeah, what, basically, what can you expect when you study, um, but also what is expected uh, to uh, from you? Because you know the reason why we say we tell this is because approach might be very different. So I, I can want to kind of shift your mindset just a little bit for now to understand um your let's say um study journey here at Hansa. so the first thing that might be the obvious one you obviously uh can expect to be getting out of your comfort zone you're moving abroad for different city big courageous step um you're not only going to be in different culture but also you'll be in different culture um in your classroom because in your classroom there is going to be a, you know an international classroom um, you're going to expose to many different habits, ideas, experiences. So it's a lot to take in and your comfort will be tested, but that zone will really expand as you build up your experience. Um, and then uh, your comfort zone will further expand in elements of our program that allows you really to personalize your uh, study journey. Uh, almost all of our programs include inter uh, internships, exchange programs, minors, and graduation internships. So um, these um, is where you will get, um, yeah. So um, so yeah. So you this is basically where you get your. Um, you can put all of your the theories that you have studied in the theory classes, skill classes, and experience that you have gained um, into practice. So this time is really meant for you to really go out there and explore and um, experience as much as you can while. Uh, being a student and while us you know having your back basically um so um yeah so these are basically really great opportunities for you to really combine what you have learned um and also with your interest um so uh, the next element is working in international groups um uh, which is um, another concept that i would like to highlight uh, you'll be working a lot in international teams on projects for clients throughout your study so these teams sometimes doesn't only limit uh, within your class, but also outside of your study program. And Hansen really foster um, the learning community and encourage the working together in diverse group where students, uh, teachers, researchers, and business collaborate, you know, because that's good for innovation and learning from each other. So we definitely also believe that our students can really make impact on our society already um, through the projects and the results they implement. Um, so this collaboration element is very important for us, um, which leads me to the next point uh, to really experience and take full advantage of what Hansa has to offer. Uh, you will have a personal, um, yeah, you will need to have, we will need actually you to have a, pers a professional and young or young professional mentality because you will be seen as one from day one. Um, and through working in international teams for clients, which will allow you to expand your pers uh, professional network and gain real life um, professional experience, you'll be ready to really, uh, you, well, you're actually already really um, investing in your future and making possible career moves by going after internships or graduation projects that you really fits your career goal. So we hope um, that this young professional mindset can also reflect in your attitude and you know responsibility towards your basically and decide um, uh, what is best for yourself so to speak um, I'm just looking at the time duo well, I think we're we were we're really short on time aren't we you know I mean uh, uh, we can give you some extra minutes don't worry about that okay all right some, I will wrap this up in from, then... from Tilburg University so you're welcome yeah. to continue okay all right <laughs> thank you um, so um, this, well, basically this leads me to my last two points, um, which is our teachers and our staffs. And so your support um, system, let's say, uh, we have the role of coaching and advising you through your project and your work and your career and academy, uh, academic development. So um, yeah, so you've been seeing as young professionals, your opinion and ideas um, are certainly valued and heard 
during your interactions with us in class and meetings. So it's really important to speak up and share what you know and what you wonder about. The more you are uh, you know, input you give us, the better the discussion can be, and that can really lead to great things like new ideas, solutions, and so on. So the communication line between teachers and students are very short, uh, so you can really reach out very easily. So, um, and, you know, in the end, we are all really here to focus on helping you to develop uh, your talent and to discover your talent and create your own unique identity and a career path. Um, so I have some extra slide that I wanted to go into, but I think what um, is more important for you is to hear from Joanna, uh, how she basically put this all into practice. So I will give the word to you, Joanna, and I will skip a couple of slides here, okay? Okay. So Joanna, I will give you the floor. There we go. <laughs> Okay, good, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Joanne, and I'm uh, happy to be here to share my experiences uh, at Hanze. And I study MIBN, International Business Management. And uh, here are some highlights uh, during my 18th month program. And I broke it down into uh, three semesters. And the first semester, we have Bodrum Simulation. And the topic that we are uh, discussed about is about a Dutch company. And this kind of Bodrum simulation is really um, outside of the uh, academic curriculum, which I found is very useful because it prepares us not only see the problem as a, as a student, but also see a problem as a young professional in, uh, at a different business level. And the second semester I study in Cambridge, UK, because uh, this is a, a dual degree program, uh, which I really appreciate this opportunity that we could also, um, the degree of the interna inter international uh, studying and living environment uh, could uh, be brought up into a next level. And the third semester, uh, we basically uh, do our internship and uh, work on our master thesis. And after we graduated, we are eligible for uh, orientation year visa, which means that uh, the students could have one year to uh, start their internship or their full-time job here in Netherlands. And I could share my uh, experiences as well uh, because I graduated uh, in 2020, which is the pandemic year. So that's why I went back to Taiwan uh, for, for work. And then within three years, you can also apply for this kind of visa. So that's why uh, I'm Taiwanese, but I'm currently just moved back to Netherlands and I will start my next career move as well. And then I could we move on to yes. next page. And you have just landed a job, right? So congratulations. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, okay. So so here's uh, my student life in Colonia and Netherlands. And just as uh, Daniel uh, mentioned before, I really appreciate that Colonia is a young and vibrant um, student city and also it's very safe. Um, what I love the most is that uh, Colonia is uh, not uh, touristic as other uh, big cities, so which it created a vibe for um, students could also enjoy the uh, international environment, but also could uh, focus on our study and to uh, get to know each other with other international students. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for sharing your experience. Um, the rest I want to share is basically similar as other um, universities, I think if you talk about application deadline, that's something that you should check out always um, on your own and, you know, and the tuition fee is similar. Uh, the entry requirement is also similar. Um, and I think the best advice I can give is now, you know, <laughs> you're all in good hands with Duo and get in touch with Holland Educational um, Association. They will, they will guide you uh, perfectly through your study choices. Um, and if you are interested in, you know, just hearing a little bit more about our program, you can always join our um, online uh, open day, for example, which is happening on the 8th of December. Um, we have another webinar that's coming in January just to help students to kind of onboard, uh, you know, studying in the Netherlands, the housing and, and the social life and so on. So that's all I really want to uh, tell you. I covered the main part. Of course, there are some more I would love to share with you.